right, here I am with uh, my Typhoon H+. And uh, last time I was out here, I didn't get very good range. And so I bought an IT Elite, I believe it's called. IT Elite Antenna Booster. It was for a Typhoon H, and I figured they worked on the same stuff, so we could have a disaster here, or we could have something. And uh, they did not have a uh, the right holder, so I had to 3D print a holder, which took about four times to figure out to be strong enough. Broke a few times, but we're going to give this a shot. So we will see if we get uh, increased distance and video feed. So, so here we go. I'm taking off at Kingdon Airport near Lodi, California, just to the west of it. You are looking north, about 90 feet in the air. I'm going to swing over to this strip of farmland, little farm road, over some wine grapes, and try to head out to that black little bush out there, or maybe beyond it, I'm not sure. I am sure, but I'm not telling you now. And as you can tell right off the bat, the uh, Typhoon H Plus gimbal is not calibrated correctly. My horizon horizon line's a little goofy. And I am also stuck in gorgeous mode. And although not hideous, I like to start out on something I can play with a little better than this. So we're going to fix the color right now. And that's better, a little more level, a little different look. And uh, try not to oversaturate things too much. I try, I try to make things look natural. Right now we're kind of heading, if we kept going for 100 miles, we'd hit San Francisco. And uh, right now I have full bars. There's nothing, uh, nothing happening. And right now I've reached 2,000 feet. And I'm turning to look back at myself to make sure I can see the video feed. There's the airport. There's the dog barking. And there I am back there, kind of, somewhere. So we're going to continue on. I can clearly still see the copter. So let's go another thousand feet and zip right ahead. I am, uh, I've got the little rabbit to turtle thing at about three-quarter rabbit or one-half rabbit. I don't know what the middle would be, but three-quarters of the way up the dial is, so you can kind of punch it without seeing the props in the way too much. And we are, I've got, at this point, it, one bar missing on my 5.8 frequency, but uh, still seeing it perfectly clear. This is 3,000 feet. Take another look around. Let me show you how much wine everyone drinks. There is a lot of wine. I'm way back there. And we'll go back, try another 1,000 feet. And the drone is but a dot by this time. And uh, I think, I don't know if I adjusted the gimbal there or not, but Blasting ahead here. And another thousand feet would make four thousand ish. And I am really far away at this point. I mean, I'm beyond anything I've ever flown, at least on purpose. <laughs> so I think I'm going to come to a stop here at four thousand. And I have full uh, bars for reception to the drone and still two bars of 5.8 gigahertz and I figured that would be it and I would turn around and I put it to full rabbit and we're gonna blast home and uh, there you go so kind of a neat little shot with some clouds and different looks the camera is very nice um, I think 
they need to work out some bugs in the firmware. This is the first iteration of it. And there are a bunch of different things, and maybe I don't know. And the reason I'm doing this is not to try to instruct anybody, but just some observations. And possibly if anyone sees and comments, they can go, oh, we did this or we did that. Or... And coming up here at the uh, 5, around 548, um, another issue with this is the uh, segregation of files in different folders and lengths of video feed. So right now it is a different file and um, in a different folder. So anyway, up here the little black dot, there's another little tractor going by right above this and so right at that black truck I am standing there's a little porta potty and I don't think I catch it but there is a plane taking off right at some point it's headed down the taxiway and I think I just miss it by panning down right here and since there's no sound you don't hear it but uh, it is right happening right now. <laughs> and I think I just miss it. I don't see a shadow or anything. So, um, there it is, the shadow. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, highly successful uh, run. For a hundred bucks, you cannot beat it. I mean, I could have gone a lot farther, I believe, at least another 2,000 feet, which would be well worth your hundred bucks if you buy one.